hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel this is intuitive tarot with me mama core today i'm going to be reading for my wonderful sagittarius my fire sign energies this is for your sun moon rising and venus signs or if you're a cross watcher and you're interested in <sighs> madly in love with or you just want to know how your sagittarius x is doing then all cross watchers are welcome all i ask is you don't wish any negativity upon anybody please only positivity because karma is a being i to come back on me <laughs> <laughs> that's right that's right on me elbow i was right on me elbow <laughs> oh my god it's all kerfuffles right ignore that <laughs> The Sagittarius. For Sagittarius, please. It's all about the right place at the right time. Perfect timing. I feel like somebody's come into your life when you least expected it. I feel like you've been manifesting them. I feel like you've wanted a higher level of commitment in your life. But I also feel like you're okay on your own. You don't need to be in a connection. You just miss that closeness. You miss... It's the night times. You're most lonely. Oh my God. I just feel like... <laughs> I'm not going to cry. <laughs> I just feel like at night you just want to either have your arms around somebody to be like loving all up on somebody or to have somebody in your arms. You're missing that like cushy time. You're okay on your own. You're perfectly happy on your own. But you do miss that. And I feel like you've... You haven't been there going... Jesus, please bring somebody into my life. You haven't been doing that. No, 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 no. I don't feel like you're a very religious person. But I do feel like secretly you've been thinking. You've been going to places. What am I saying? What am I saying? <laughs> Bear with, Sagittarius. Bear with. Um, <laughs> buffering. Buffering. Oh, Sagittarius, I'm liking the energy. Like, a bit of a jokester, right? Bit of a jokester? Right. <laughs> I feel like you've been traveling a bit, going to new locations, places that you've wanted to go, and taking in the scenery and picturing what it would be like to have a love interest by your side, taking in these experiences with you. But there's somebody in particular that you would like by your side. And you're trying not to, that's literally trying to come out, so I'm gonna let it go. Oh yeah. <laughs> you've been trying to manifest this person and even though you've been trying not to think about this person, they're all this up in your mind. Dreaming about them. They brought a lot of light into your life. They bought wisdom. Wisdom. It's like you can't help but smile when you see them. As soon as you see them, it's like, oh my God, there they are. Oh my God, they're looking so good. Oh my God, I love it when they wear that. Again, they're wearing that color. They're making me, um, I'll try and hold it up closer, but there's like a silk 
like chiffon scarf running through this picture and it's bright red and it's making me think of that red is very significant in your life. You love it when they wear red. Yeah. You can see yourself settling down with this person and the knight of wands is coming in which is making me think they do get you all hot and heavy or hot and heavy or hot and heavy <laughs> they do get you like feeling a certain way if you get my drift um they do get you feeling all like you want to come in and you know show exactly how can I make this non-sexual? You want to express to this person how crazy they make you feel. Yeah. He's just got something in his hand and he wants to show that he's ready to use it in a good way. So think of that what you will. <laughs> you want to you want to act a fool with this person. Okay? You could be dealing with an earth sign in particular. <laughs> I don't want to make this an 18 because it gets restricted so easily on YouTube. <laughs> You've had a lot of fun with this person. Nobody makes me laugh the way that you do me, as in you. <laughs> You're acknowledging that you didn't make the effort that you should have made with this person and you're being very strategic, 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 I can't say, why can I say that word? Strategic, why can't I say that word? Strategic, why can't I say that word? Strategic, I, let me put it across here. <laughs> I can't say that word. Strategic, Person. You're strategizing <laughs> because of how this person's made you feel. You're thinking about the good times. Oh, here he comes again. Damn, you may be younger than your love interest, Sagittarius. Oh, you're coming in. You're coming in, you're going, I like it, I like it a lot. <laughs> oh. You see how abundant your feminine is? I'm seeing that you're a masculine Sagittarius because all this masculinity is coming forward first and then this feminine's coming in at the end. And she's coming in as a earth sign. So it's Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. She could have Aquarius or Libra and being shown in her chart. <sighs> this feminine glows. She really, really glows to you. Whenever you see her, whenever you talk to her, I just see that you can't stop smiling, that you're so fulfilled. Yes, you're really guarded. I see that you're wanting to express yourself. You're wanting to tell this person how you feel, but you don't want to, you don't want them to take it the wrong way. I just heard. Show me what you mean. Oh yeah, you're up. At, you have a lot of sleepless nights because 
you want to tell this person your true thoughts and feelings. You want to be vulnerable, but you're scared that if you're this vulnerable and you tell them, this is what I've gone through, this is how I felt, this a period of time, you're scared that you're going to be put into the cold, you're going to be put into the dark with this person, you're going to be left out in the cold rather. Sagittarius's love and trust, true thoughts and feelings. Did you want it? Sagittarius's true thoughts and feelings. They're not talking to you at the moment because they know you need space, but they've always loved you. They see a higher level of commitment with you. You may be dealing with a Capricorn. Do you want it? No. Whoa. Oop, there it is. Let me have a look, see. No, you want that over here. No, you want it there. There? Here. There, here. There may have been, well, they're showing me, there was a, a masculine who was coming in in his... in his earth energy and I feel like he came between you both he brought a lot of conflict into this relationship yeah there was a lot of third party influence on this connection. I feel like there's two people trying to work at a connection, trying to make it thrive, trying to express your love for each other. But no matter what you both did, there always seemed to be heartache. There always seemed to be some sort of conflict. Sleepless nights, upset, arguments misunderstandings I'm hearing it's almost as if there was exterior people who didn't want the connection between you and your love interest to work out my lovelies oh my god it's making me feel really sad it's making me feel really sad <clears throat> There's so many times you've nearly come forward and told this person exactly how you feel, how this third party influence, yeah, how this third party influence affected your life. How hard it was over to come this heartache. You really want to express how, I think you really need to Sagittarius. Okay. Justice is really, really at play here. Okay, Sagittarius. And I feel like you need to come forward and express yourself and tell this feminine how they've affected you, how they've let you down, how other people have let you down. I feel like they're ready for this communication to happen. Yes. <sighs> they're scared. And they're, they're giving you the space that you need because they know you need space. But I feel like they're always going to be there for you. Always going to be there for you. And I feel like... You had a glimpse of hope. Something's changed. It's not, it's not the same. It's not the same as it once was. It once was, I heard. Yes, 
you've been planning on communication it's like you're deleting rewriting deleting rewriting deleting rewriting i feel like you've even tried to write a letter i'm seeing somebody write out a letter but it's like every time you feel like you sound stupid you don't you don't everything you're saying is what you need to get off your chest I feel like when you write out these letters to this person, you feel like this weight come off your shoulders, but then that weight gets put back on because you haven't sent that letter, you haven't sent that text, you haven't sent that email. Do it. Because this person is waiting for you, Sagittarius. Justice has really come down hard on this person on your love interest. And they've gone through a hell of a lot of suffering. So I feel like they're gonna give you that time and that opportunity to open up. They're gonna hear you out. When this communication happens and you talk about the conflict, you talk about the third parties, there's things that you both don't know. There's things that you're both in the dark with. There's things that you both need to talk about. And I feel like when you both do, this feminine and masculine is coming forward and they're giving each other the clarity. So much is gonna change once you talk. It's gonna transform this, this whole connection. One more. What's the main energy? The outcome. Yeah. Yeah. What did I say? Heart to heart communication. And it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Oh, my loves. We have a divine couple. The Empress and the Emperor. You two know that you're meant to be together. Whether you're together in this lifetime or not... You two feel it with your whole power. Yes, you're stubborn asses. Yes, you've both been through a lot. Yes, there's a lot of separation. Yes, there's a lot you haven't told each other. But one day, very, very soon, you two are going to open the lines of communication and be vulnerable, open up together and express how you feel. And once you do, Sagittarius, once they do, oh my days, the weight that is going to come off your shoulders, the stress that is just going to disappear out of your life. Don't live your life like that, Sagittarius. Whoever is watching this that resonates, please don't live your life like that. You deserve more. You deserve more. I see that you're trying to fight. I see that you're trying to be brave. But sometimes we just need to... Get the clarity that we need so we can move forward. That's all we need. I am praying for you, Sagittarius. I am sending a white light of love and protection around you. I am grounding you. Know that you are safe. Know that you are loved. Know that you have got people around you because I really feel like you need that. I really feel like that protection you needed because there's not a lot of people that you open up to but this person is ready this person is waiting all you need to do is open this communication to know that, you, that the clarity is there know that you are safe oh that was really emotional <laughs> It's been a lot of upset. <clears throat> it's been a lot of upset. Oh, that's so serious. It's going to be okay, Sagittarius. It's going to be okay. I was not going to cry today. And that went tits up. <laughs> Yeah, it's all going to be okay. 
my loves, this is all your messages. I hope it brought you clarity on your current situation. I do wish you all the best. And if you did any personal, everything's linked down below. Go and check it out on my Patreon. I'd be really grateful if you did so. I'm going to be uploading a little meditation over the next few days. Sagittarius, go and listen to it. Because you are lovable. You are worth this connection. Never doubt yourself. You have all the tools to make any love relationship work. You are lovable. Thank you so much for all your love and support on my channel. It truly means the world to me. I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care, my loves. Bye, lovelies. Bye.